Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. And guys, today I ran in here, I scuttled my booty down because we are going to be diving in to another foundation review. And I know, I know, some of you are so sick of foundation reviews and I totally understand that. That is why for today I picked a very weird one that was just released from Kevin Aquan. This is their foundation balm. So it's different, still foundation, but different. And I have had so, so many requests for this. So for those of you that are sick of it, please bear with me. I do have other stuff scheduled and other stuff in general like there's palette reviews full faces all kinds of good stuff it is really important to a lot of you that I get these foundation reviews out just so you know kind of what to expect and what you want to buy and what you really want to invest in so the moral of my story is if you are one of those lovely people that is so sick of foundation reviews I totally understand and I am so so sorry um, but your girls gotta go where the foundation reigns supreme and I'm really sorry about that and I promise you there will be other content sprinkled in between now let's go ahead without any further ado and discuss today's foundation balm, which is from Kevin Aquan. This is their, well, just foundation balm. Okay aptly named. I purchased this from the KevinAquanBeauty.com website, which is their own website. Again, it is called their Foundation Balm, retailing for $52, and it looks like it was released in 20 shades, which I'm going to tell you right now, leaning heavy on the light medium spectrum. There's maybe, I would say, two or three colors that go into the deeper spectrum, maybe four, but they're not super deep. To me, they're more medium to deep than just deep. Then down in the description here, it says this is a full coverage, buildable foundation for all skin types. Um, it's formulated to deliver a flawless finish for younger looking skin. Oh, thank God, honey. Almost 30 is creeping up. Fortified with hyaluronic acid and bonus antioxidants such as vitamin E, the foundation balm hydrates your skin for a supple look and feel. It says that it also comes with this specially designed brush for effortless blending and application, which I'm assuming is this little ditty right here. Ooh, girl is soft. Okay. This foundation matches the Etherealist foundation shades and includes four additional shades to find the perfect color. It is safe on arms and legs and leaves a powder finish. Interesting. Okay. So under how to use, swirl the foundation balm brush into the balm to pick up the product, stroke the foundation balm onto the skin, starting at the center and working outwards. Okay. All right, guys, I am ready to go. I got my skin prepped and my hair back. And you know what's oh, the real kicker here? Now, not only have I lost my Tatcha Soap canvas, I have also somehow managed to lose, misplace, or otherwise throw my headband. I can't find it anywhere. Headband and Tatcha Soap canvas. Two things that I use every single day. <gasps> Anyways, for primers, I went in with these two little ditties right here. On this side, we have the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. And then on this side, we have the NYX Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Radiant Perfecting Primer. I figured this way we could go with a little bit of a glowy base just to see how it comes through. And then on this side, I figured we'd have a little bit of brightening plus a little bit of pore blurring. So I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. Guys, we're just here to test. We're here to have some fun, honey. Now, when it comes to product, you get 0.7 ounces of the Kevin Ahuan Balm. And when it comes to a regular liquid foundation, typically the standard is one full fluid ounce and I just something I kind of want to throw in there I know it's a different consistency so it's measured a little bit differently just like when you buy a stick foundation and anything like that um, when it comes in a different form I don't think they consider it the same because it's not a fluid ounce it's a solid ounce of product but that's just something I wanted to throw out there I'm sure that coverage and all that stuff also plays a part in how much you get uh, but it does come in this little container just to twist off cap it has a little cover lid right here which I'm assuming is just to keep it airtight and sealed and as far as the packaging goes it's nothing too impressive it's a plastic lid plastic cover plastic little container here so it does have a little bit of a frost to the plastic on the bottom part so it looks a little bit nicer but still overall plastic so for me the packaging is a little bit lackluster and I do wish that the brush would have been full size but that's just again personal preference let's go ahead and get to applying um, I want to start off first with their little brush here and I want to actually oh wow that's super emollient oh by the way this is Hello, I've done this before. Um, this is in the shade Light FB03, and that is a super emollient product. Like, holy cow. That feels really, really slippery on the skin. All right, let's go ahead and just swirl this brush in here, get her good and coated. And now I'm just going to start off with their brush. Okay, it's not the worst shade match I've ever had. Um, I specifically chose, like, the third shade in because I didn't want to pick the one that was, like, super, super light because their light shades looked really, really light in pan um, on their website. So that, okay, that did cover 
very quickly. I don't hate the application of it. I do feel like it looks um, a little streaky with this brush, but my skin also doesn't typically love a brush as it is, so I'm not too mad at it. I'm also going to grab my little Real Technique sponge here. This is a clean, damp sponge, and I'm just going to kind of press that onto the skin just because I want to see if I can fix the finish of it a little bit. Just take away the streaks. Okay, that helps quite a bit actually. Now I am gonna just try because why not? I want to try applying this with a sponge because guys I don't know I can't help myself. I just want to see like is it worth it? Does it work? Honestly no. <laughs> it looks horrible. It all stuck inside the sponge. None of it is going on my face. Okay yeah don't don't do that. I'll go ahead here and just stick with the brush that they sent me and go with this one. Now because of the consistency of this foundation I do feel like it's not sticking to my nose as well. Wow, that looks horrible on and around my nose. Like, wow, horrible. All right, so I moved you guys in, obviously, hello, and I uh, adjusted the color a little bit on the camera, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about as far as the weird, like, nose settling. And I get it on both sides. I think it's a little bit worse on this side, but it just settles into every single pore so awful. I feel like you can still see like some of my redness, hyperpigmentation poking through. And it's not bad. Like I wouldn't say, you know, oh my God, this has the worst coverage in the world, but it's really difficult to build up because it does just kind of slide around in those areas. Um, so just kind of something to note. So I'm gonna go ahead here and grab my Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral. I'm going to apply that all over the face, the T-zone, the usual places, make it match my skin a little bit better. Well, I would like to say that that fixed things, but it didn't. So at this point, your girl doesn't love how this is looking. My pores on my nose literally look exactly the same. Also, it like will not cover. I have like an acne spot right here, and for no reason, out of nowhere, this thing was covered like four minutes ago. Now it will not cover. I have no idea why. It just won't cover at all. Interesting. So I'm going to go in now to set the face with my ABH powder here in vanilla. Now before I set the cheek areas here, let me do a little bit of a touch test for those of you with dry skin. Um, I am getting transfer, but this does have a light matte to light powder dry down to it. So I don't know. It'll depend on how dry your skin is if you'll need to set this. Um, for me, I think that you would want to just because it's going to slip off the skin because it's such an oily, um, kind of filmy consistency. But if that doesn't cause an issue on you and you don't have that problem, then you might not have to set it. Because again, a very nice light powder finish. I am getting still some light transfer, but it's nothing awful at this point. It's just, it's still there. And then I actually am going in today with my sponge and I'm really pressing a little layer of powder into the skin before I go in with any brush. Because again, I fear that this is, um, I'm going to move on my skin as soon as I go in with a brush, and I just want to make sure that it is locked onto my skin before I touch it. But I'm going to go ahead real quick. Now that my face is set down, I'm going to throw on some bronzer, blush, just a couple normal products, but nothing crazy, and I will stop back on here in a minute and show you guys how we are looking. So hang tight, and I will be right back. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. This is how everything came together. Your girl went ahead and finished adding all the products to her face. Very, very minimal day today. I want to dive in first to the up close so that we, we can talk about it, because I have a couple of notes that I want to make and I don't want to forget. So let me go ahead and bring you guys in real quick. So the first thing I want you guys to see on camera is how smooth I feel like this is looking compared to how it looked before. I feel like over my cheek region, it did settle in and did a beautiful job minimizing, but on my jawline and around my mouth, I am noticing a little bit of already like settling or the crackling of like a really matte look. And I don't know if that's something that shows up on camera or not. I feel like it's also there a little bit on the forehead but it's not too bad. Um, overall, again, everything is settling in nicely in that aspect, but the one thing I wanted to remember to mention is the finish of this, I feel like, is a little bit too matte. It's almost hyper matte, and I know that I'm normal to oily, so I have to set my foundation, and I don't have a problem with that, but I almost feel like this one is literally like sucking the moisture somehow out of my skin, and I have went in pretty liberally with my setting sprays today. I used, I think, the Dewy Set Spray. I used this twice as 
a way to set it first and then I set it again after my highlight. I used my Maybelline Fe Lasting Fix just to lock everything down. I used my NYX Bear With Me Spray which has a light luminous finish but it has a beautiful way of like sinking into the skin. So I hit it once with that and then I also went again over top of everything with my Pixi Glow Mist. Now I know this looks excessive and really for me this right here like this trio I've been using quite a bit. So I don't have an issue with this but like having to add this on top of it to try and make it a little bit more comfortable that's kind of the stretch. I haven't had to do that one a lot lately. But anyways you guys I can talk forever so I'm gonna go do my day and I will check back on in a little bit so hang tight and I will be right back. Real quick you guys pause five minutes in the future here I just put my hair back and I was actually looking up close and I do feel like in adding powder and whatnot I lost a little coverage over like my acne areas not so much in texture on my cheek but texture down here like raised texture from acne on my jawline I do feel like I lost a little bit and I'm not sure if that was from like sweeping over top of it with powder I'm not sure what that's from but something that I just wanted to notice is that it didn't want to stay adhered to that type of texture it seems like again cheek looks pretty good like no issues with it lifting there but definitely on raised acne along the jawline okay there's a tractor I tried to do it in between while they were coming up and down the road so I'm gonna go now because they're back joys. All right, you guys, it is officially the end of the day and I have nothing to say other than I want to zoom you in and I want you to see what I am looking at because who girl, I think once you see that and we have a conversation, I think you'll understand where I'm at. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. I know it's like normally there's like some warm up, some hey guys, how's it? But I got nothing. Let's just go ahead and zoom, honey, because you girls got some stuff to say. So while we're up close here, I think the first thing you can probably see on camera, and I tried really hard to center the camera and give you guys a shot of it, is the texture that I still have on my lower jawline. I don't know what that is or where that came from, but I literally never have foundation settle into the pore on my jaw like that is completely random but it's that entire area and then while you're panning over you can see like around the mouth my smile lines all of that is completely broken and looks horrendous and then on the nose as well you can see I'm missing a ton of foundation on my nose it's super super oily which after this long I'm not mad at it but it does look really really bad okay so now that we've seen the up close guys I want to dive in a little bit more with you as far as my explanation overall with I think what's going on and tell you in no one certain terms that in my opinion this foundation not worth it and I have multiple reasons so the first thing I'm gonna say is that I did wear this foundation all day long so it had a 12 hour wear test now I'm going to back that up for those of you that are like oh well girl no foundation looks good after 12 hours there's no way to that I will rebuttal with a big old because guys this foundation looked bad all day long when I had applied it this morning it looked really matte like right around my muzzle area and I told you guys like mm, I don't really love that look it's not my favorite I wish I could get rid of that it's settling a little funny I hope that goes away Oh no, oh no, it did not go away for a second. I looked overly matte, overly cakey around my mouth all day long and then when it finally started to look not so bad it started to instantly like break and crease around this area and then somehow stay really really matte like no matter how much of my oil came through the foundation it still looked awful and I don't know if that's just a me thing I don't know what's going on but in terms of the mattified effect on this one and like my skin and sitting on it, it oh my god it was like a no hold situation it looked bad um the creasing and the caking girl all day hardcore it looked so, so gnarly in and around my smile lines right here. Broke up all around my mouth, which obviously you guys saw. Hey guys, while we're on it, how about we go ahead and talk about this jawline situation? What's that about? I've never, okay, I don't want to say never because I've tested out like hundreds of foundations. And if I'm forgetting one, I don't want to like spit in my own face. But in my recent cognitive memory, I do not ever recall a foundation that settles in to these pores. I'm not talking like texture and uneven, like we'll talk about that in a minute. But I have never had a foundation settle into the pores on my jawline. What even is that? I don't know. So as you can tell, I'm just not impressed with that facet like whatsoever. But I think for me overall, what I have to say about this foundation, I take issue with it for several reasons. Now I did mention before I went off camera this morning, um, the coverage for whatever reason over my acne would not hold. And I don't know what that's all about. I couldn't build it. I was even going in at the end there and like taking a little bit out of the container and just like trying to pat it over the acne to build coverage just with my finger. And I couldn't build coverage. So as far as 
this being a full coverage balm and buildable and all that, I do think it's buildable, workable to a point, um, but I'm not going to sit here and say it's like the end-all, beat-all, amazing full coverage foundation because it's not. But I think that this is a product that when it w first went on and it did look decent, it looked okay, minus the super matteness, it looked all right. And I think that that was just heavily relying on all the other products that I used. And if I'm going to spend $52 on a foundation, I don't care how innovative it is, if it comes with a soft brush, I don't care about any of that. If it relies on other products to be amazing or to look good, that's not the foundation for me. Because I have so many other foundations that when I apply them with crappier products or products that I don't like as much, or even products that don't wear a long time, the foundation still does its job and it still looks beautiful and it still performs well. So for me, I just keep looking at this foundation and I'm like, Ugh. You know what I mean? Like it's just there's really nothing about this to me that's like oh wow like you need it for this one facet. So overall those are a lot of my thoughts on this foundation as far as how it wore and all of that. Now I saved this one final complaint until the very end because I think it's probably something specific to me. I don't know for sure. That's why I kind of wanted to bag off until right now. But guys and you can see it right here because I finally gave in and itched it. First of all this is making my face so itchy. Like I would say right around hour like six seven my face started to itch by hour 9 10 I was like wow do I want to itch it and right now it's taking everything in my power to not literally scrape it off my face not to mention by the way you can actually kind of see it right in that red dot area I am now having acne pop up on my skin that I know for a fact wasn't there this morning like completely random little bumps and a lot of them are around my nose I have one right here as well and I can feel them just under my skin because I'm so sorry I just couldn't wait anymore Oh my god, did my nose itch. All right, you guys, your girl's face has all the makeup wiped off, and girl, bye. Ain't nobody got time for that, honey. No thank you. The itchiness has stopped, and I am so happy. Now, I'm here to close out this video, so you guys... Those are my final thoughts. Let me know yours down below. I am so sorry if you were one of the people that were so excited and curious about this. Um, I really do hope that I presented it well. I presented it fairly per usual. Um, but this was just such a highly requested one. I had to get it out to you guys as soon as possible. And those are my thoughts. Again, I'd love to hear from you all down below. And if you haven't done so yet, you can also subscribe and turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel. And y'all, you probably should because I upload five videos a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in Northern Michigan. We have all the new makeup, old makeup, makeup we love, makeup we don't love, makeup. We just talk about all the makeup, new, old, love it, hate it, whatever is going on in the world. We talk about, oh my God, my mood has improved 35,000% since I took off that foundation and my face doesn't itch. Oh, it's a good thing. Oh, girl, get it, get it, get it. But all right, you guys, on that note, thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. A mole, a it's more emollient, emollient, it's more emollient, am I having a stroke, it's more emollient, emollient. Who do you think you are, Mr. Big Shot, ow, my feet are asleep, ow, my legs are asleep, how did you go to sleep so fast, girl, I can't fall asleep that fast, how's that for a comprehensive friggin' foundation review, girl, I wore it till it itched, caused acne, and had children, yes! Is that you, Silver Pope? Is that you, Silly? Did you come find Silly? Oh, I think everybody's been missing her, her little baby. Yeah, oh, they've all been missing you, Scissors. Are you a little princess? Okay, there we go. Yes, that's my princess. Okay. This is my little girl. Her just wants to snuggle. Yeah, look around, poops. I know, it's bright in here, huh, baby? <laughs> Yeah, go back to bed. Yeah.